To mark Joe Biden's 81st birthday, we have compiled his most senile moments into his nearly three years of presidency. Holding the trophy as the United States' oldest ever elected president, Joe Biden has had a fair share of public blunders that have drawn worldwide attention. To kick off, here are a few of the moments Joe Biden has been caught falling down. Two, ten, twelve, fifteen. Whoops, stepping on a. There's a. It's black. Anyway. But who can forget in June last year when the president took a tumble on his bike in Delaware? Mr. President, Mr. Dr. Biden, how is that Mr. President? He even sometimes struggles to put his jacket on. Joe Biden's lack of authority and decision-making has been called into question many times when the president has asked his staff what he's allowed to do or where he has to go next. Okay. Do I yield to you now or do I go on? You can go on. I can go on? Okay. Uh, Alicia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do I sign this order now? I'm going to sign this executive order right now, okay? I have to seek permission to leave. I have a check, you notice. <laughs> Thank you again. The president copped brutal backlash for confusing Iran and Iraq only 10 days into his presidency. That's like just flat out acknowledging. We've been doing everything we can do to keep Biden from being the nominee. And guess what? We tried it in, in Iraq. It's not working. So now we're going to try, I mean, in Iran, excuse me, we tried in Ukraine. Or when Joe Biden claimed he had been president for 15 months when it had actually been five. Since January 20, and we're talking now about 15 months ago, the average daily cases are down from 184,000 to 19,000. One of Joe Biden's biggest opponents throughout his presidency has been the teleprompter. President Biden has been under intense criticism for his inability to master the art of public speaking. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. Made in America. Do you think he backed off because of that? No, no, I'm just saying. I just, I just found it interesting that uh, Biden's being a popular, a, pop, a, a, pop, a, cop, a Biden's being an extremist. I'm joined by the executive director of the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach, Gene Soroka and, uh, and Mario, Mario Cordono, uh, to accommodate the Russian oligarchs uh, and make sure we take their, take their, their ill-begotten gains. <laughs> We're going to accommodate them. We're going to seize their yachts, their luxury homes, and other ill-begotten gains of Putin's kleptocracy. Uh, yeah kleptocracy and clep the guys who are the kleptocracies. <laughs> Cisco Systems and Cyber, Cyber Bastion, a diaspora-owned small business. It is noteworthy that the percentage of women who register to vote and cast a ballot is consistently higher than the percentage of the men who do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. 
women are not without electoral and or political or, or maybe precise, not and or. And with the president's struggles with a teleprompter came his confusing whispering. Joe Biden has been mocked online for the last few years for leaning in and whispering into the microphone when he's trying to make a point. I think it's time to give ordinary people a tax break. The wealthy are doing fine. I wrote the bill on the environment. Why would I not be for it? Unless you make more than $400,000 a year. <laughs> Your federal taxes aren't going to go up a single penny. Guess what? I did all this without raising anybody's taxes in the middle class. And one other little thing. During this process, I cut the federal budget in two years by $1.7 trillion. People are waiting for relief. I got them $1.9 trillion relief so far. They're going to be getting checks in the mail that are consequential this week for child care. A lot has been happened already. When we talked about 28% tax rate, Ronald Reagan was 28% tax rate. You know, that wacko liberal guy, you know? The idea that that's an un un unreasonable amount, but I'll get into that later. In July this year, Joe Biden was branded creepy for nibbling on a toddler. As the White House has attempted to lean into his friendly grandpa persona, these photos gave ammunition to conservatives for weeks. <laughs> Despite his ice cream eating grandpa persona, Joe Biden has a quick temper. And it has been well documented, especially when he lashes out towards members of the media. Why do you think it is that you're trailing Trump in all these swing state polls? Because you don't read the polls out. There are 10 polls. Eight of them, I'm beating him in those states. Eight of them. You guys only do two CNN and New York Times. Check it out. Check it out. We'll get you a copy of all those other polls. Okay? You don't believe you're trailing in battleground states? No, I don't. Mr. President, what's your message to Democrats who don't want you to run again? They want me to run. Two-thirds say they Read don't. Read the polls. Read the polls, Jack. You guys are all the same. That poll showed that 92% of Democrats, if I ran, would vote for me. A majority of Democrats say they don't want you to run again in no, 2024. 92% said if I did, they'd vote for me. Right, what do you think President Biden placed that? Do you think it places a political liability? That's a great asset. More inflation. What a stupid son of a That's basically where the U.S. is right now. When I announced that you all said it's not possible. Come on, give me a break, man. On, That's a good start. Biden, how involved were you in your son's Chinese shakedown text message? Were you sitting there? Were you involved? Were you involved? No, I wasn't. I don't know. Were you? No. Sometimes it can be hard for Joe Biden to know where he's going. Uh, Mr. President, thank you. At the end of such a momentous event, the word thank you seems kind of inadequate. But for all the millions whose lives will be saved, you can go that way if you want. <laughs> One of the president's most forgetful moments was in October last year while speaking at an event on hunger. 
Looking around the room to thank lawmakers involved in the event, he searched for Congresswoman Jackie Walorski, questioning if she was present. But Congresswoman Walorski had tragically died in a car accident the month before, a fact of which he seemed to have forgotten despite writing a statement on it. Because I believe we can use these advances to do even more to make America stronger and a healthier nation. And so many of you know so much about this as well, and you're committed. And I want to thank all of you here, for in including bipartisan elected officials like Representative Governor, Senator Braun, Senator Booker, Representative Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I didn't think she was, she was going to be here to help make this a reality.